So today, uh, I'm usually not a fan of aftermarket accessories in cars, but I'm gonna install a remote start in my own van, and I'm gonna try to do it in real time uh, with saving a few seconds of recording time. So I'll show you what I got here. Remote start for my Dodge van. Uh, most people don't have a panel popper, so I'm gonna do this with a small flat blade. I like zip ties so I can secure everything. And then here's a little drill with a seven millimeter, which you can use a ratchet or whatever. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and, and get this installed and let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna grab everything. Not everybody has a shop, so I'm gonna do this in my front garage. All right. Come on over here. I don't think I could turn, I'm gonna have to turn the, the uh, shit. Cool. Let's pull the, the door strip back. Okay. And pull this panel out. One handed. Not gonna work. Two hands. There we go. Okay. Panel pops out. Alright. Put that someplace nice and safe. Okay, you know, what? I'm gonna get a flashlight. All right, so I got my flashlight. You know, this is this is more true to life than being all prepared at the shop. So let me go ahead and throw that flashlight down there. There's one popper, plastic rivet we call them, right there. All right, so there's a flat space you can get the screwdriver into, pop it out. It usually comes apart together. I'm in the garage. It is about. 36 degrees here in Illinois right now. Wish I was not in Illinois. All right, so it's a two-piece popper. All right, then there's two more under the dash. Where's the first one at? First one is right here, okay? And second one is hiding over there. See it? Right there, okay. So pop those out. I don't know what to do with the other hand. I can't afford a cameraman yet. All right, so let's get this guy done. Let's see how long this takes. All right, go on over to the second guy. You know, it's nice when everybody makes YouTube videos in a nice lit shop with all the right tools, but not everybody out there is working with that kind of stuff, right? I know that, you know that. Some people like to just show off what they got. You know, I got some cool stuff in the garage, but sometimes it brings you back to your roots. Hit yourself in the head and doing dumb shit. So, all right. So then, now that that's off, this whole panel just started to pull out. Okay. All right. Should have a snack in here too. Sandwiches on there. All right, so lay it down for a second. Yep. Try YouTube record. Probably making it sick. Worst video ever. Anyway, so I got that panel down. All right, now we got. Four screws, the metal bracket. There's seven millimeter. Like I said before, seven millimeter. I'm gonna push the parking brake pedal down. Give myself more room with this guy. All right, a little bit of drill action. I'm a fan of electric drills. Saves plenty of time. Pretty inexpensive. will come down there's an airbag connector on there it's okay keys off I'm not gonna be fucking with it so leave that alone and since the ignition switch is up here 
the plug we need is right behind it. I'll try to get a good look here. All right, so there, there he is, right up there. All right, I'm gonna try to get that unplugged. I believe the release is on the top part of that connector. All right, yeah, that's the one. So I'm gonna try to reach up there and unplug it and pull it down. Okay. squeeze tab kind of squeeze the tab and use the wiring to pull it back at the same time now you can't see what I'm doing but neither can I so take another look I'm not trying to do this in a hurry I am trying to do it carefully. Okay, so there's the connector there again. And the squeeze tab's on the top of it. Just a pain in the ass to pull out of there. So let me try that again. Working upside down and backwards. One of the cool things they don't teach you. Okay, there we go. Got it unplugged. All right. So there's the release right on top. Let me get him in the light here. Okay. So I had to press the release to get it out. All right. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and unbox what I got here. There's a module. Here's a T harness. Okay, so let me, let me unwrap that. All one hand camera. Everybody who works on cars knows nothing goes smooth or perfect the first time around, so. Here's a T-harness that's supposed to just plug right in, okay, and the other part that goes into the box, so let's see, let's see if we can do this, all right. Ba -ba -ba. I contemplated making this video because you can see plenty of others on YouTube, but maybe mine will be different because it'll show normal world experience. All right, so I got that plugged in. Now, I gotta get that plugged into the back of the initial switch. Let me show you how it looks with its own plug. All right, see it's unplugged. Now, whenever you plug these kinds of things back in, always make sure it goes in nice and square. Like flush, nice and easy. Take your time, because it's so easy to bend a pen. And if something was fine until you touched it last, then always suspect that it's a bent pin or whatnot. So same as the connector, little release here. Let me try to get that guy put back in there. Of course, this thing's been sitting in the car. Should've left it in the house nice and warm. Come on. 
I think I got it in. I didn't hear it click, but oh, there it goes. All right, all right, that should be it. So now, get the module and the car key. All right, so where's the module at? I don't like working this disorganized, but you guys all don't work the same as me. So I'll try to just make this, like I said, real world. Real world. All right. Okay. Here's the module. There's the wires. Black plug. Only one long black connection here. Not sure how much you can see. That's plugged in. Okay. And there's oh, red light came on. And there's a blue plug connection right there. Plug that guy in. Okay. So now it's plugged in. All right. Red light flashing. Okay. I think the instructions say just to turn the key on. Turn the key on. Oh, maybe one more click. One more click. Okay. Just learning. All right. Okay. And I believe I take the key out. Push lock one time. and unlock okay and it should be good to go oh shit wish me luck oh yeah oh yeah look at that nice now i didn't hook up anything else no brake switch or nothing like that no other wiring no parking lights so i definitely do want to do that because i want a complete install but let me see how this works now. Key in. Key on. Okay. And. Press the brake. And it shuts off as normal. Alright. One, two, three. Oh yeah. I'm happy. Happy consumer. 80 bucks remote start. A couple minutes to install. Doing it the wrong way with no lighting, poor tools. Now let's try to see if... All right, that works. So I guess before I shut my car off, I'll turn my heat on for winter. And turn the fan on, that way when I start, it's good to go. Then I'll just have to set the module <coughs> for the time delay. three and it's off that's awesome happy customer all right so now i'm going to fix up these wires and get them zip tight out of the way and finish the install so it's not a few minute install it's definitely going to take a good 20 minute 30 minutes your first time to do everything right please make sure you do it right make sure the wires aren't going to rub nothing all right but i hope this janky video helps because nobody or, you know, a good majority of people out there doing stuff don't have ideal situations they're working in. Some people have carports. Some don't have garages. I mean, a lot of people don't have a garage. I lived in apartments for years without a garage. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have scored two garages, one to work out of and, and one for the wife to, to keep her car warm. But uh, subscribe. Shoot me a like. Um, I'm going to be making more how-to videos, you know, as, as time permits. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'll be doing a couple others in the future. Uh, thanks a lot and best of luck to you.